गुड मॉर्निंग चलो कहन फाइन ओके टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड थ्री मेजर कंसेप्ट ऑफ नेशनल इनकम एच मीनिंग एंड टाइप्स ऑफ फाइनल गुड्स आफ्टर दैट वी अंडरस्टूड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डोमेस्टिक टेरिटरी एंड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव अंडरस्टूड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ नॉर्मल रेसिडेंट्स नाउ वंस अगेन रिकॉल योर प्रीवियस अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ नेशनल इनकम एच इट इज द एग्रीगेट ऑफ मनी वैल्यू of all final goods and services produced within the domestic territory of a country by its normal residents okay it means whatsoever goods and services are produced within the domestic territory of a country the estimated value of this it's called value of output and you know there are some other provisions also to estimate national income such as deduction of the value of intermediate goods number 1 depreciation number 2 and net indirect tax number 3 and addition of some external income that is called net factor income from abroad okay so when we say national income national income includes the money value of all final goods and services and excludes the value of intermediate consumption depreciation and net indirect tax one by one let us make clear all these concepts because these are very very important to understand properly to do calculations in further topics okay let us first understand what is called intermediate consumption you know children during production process several goods are used by producers as raw material and some goods are purchased by one firm from another firm for resale thus the value of these goods used during production process and the value of goods purchased for resale is called intermediate consumption or we can say the value of the consumption of intermediate goods during production process is called intermediate consumption and the value of intermediate consumption is subtracted from the value of output to obtain national income okay now the question arises what are called intermediate goods okay final goods we have understood now let us understand intermediate goods what are called intermediate goods the intermediate goods are normally non durable non factor inputs there are basically two features the first feature of intermediate goods is that they are non factor inputs non factor inputs means we know two types of the inputs are required number 1 factor inputs and number 2 non factor inputs factor inputs are land labor capital organization and entrepreneurship whereas in non factor inputs we include 
the raw material fuel energy transportation communication and other things except land labor capital etc when we say intermediate goods these goods are related to non factor inputs number 2 they are not durable in nature non durable in nature in the sense that once they are used in production of a commodity they cannot be repeatedly used in production of another commodity such as the sugar used in production of of biscuits again the same sugar cannot be used for production of another thing once it has been used means it has been used okay it means intermediate goods are non durable inputs but from national income point of view intermediate goods have been defined as the goods used by producers as raw material and the goods purchased by one firm from another for resale to there is another analysis of intermediate goods also and that is the goods within the boundary line of production are called intermediate goods and the goods beyond the boundary line of production are called final goods okay final goods we have understood intermediate goods we have to under understand within the boundary line of production means the goods are under process of production and so long as a good is under process of production it is supposed to be intermediate good and as soon as it is out of the process of production and ready to be sold to their final users then it is called final good okay there is another important point to distinguish the goods between intermediate and final and that is the end use okay if end use of a good is production then it is intermediate good and if end use of a good is consumption or to be used as fixed assets in production then it is final okay intermediate goods are those goods whose value is deducted from overall value of output to obtain the national income and its related aggregates like gdp ngp gdp nnp etc first of all value of output is estimated and from it the value of intermediate goods is deducted okay and at last the same good may be intermediate or final it depends on its end use for example if sugar is purchased by a biscuit company to manufacture biscuits then it is intermediate good and if the same sugar is purchased by a household for everyday consumption in making tea and sweets etc then it will be called as final good okay so i think you may have uh, understood the difference between intermediate goods and final goods in estimation of national income we include only the value of final goods not the value of intermediate goods and that is why we say national income is the aggregate of money value of all final goods and services produced within the domestic territory of a country by its normal residents 
over a period of time excluding the value of intermediate consumption depreciation net indirect tax and net factor and including net factor income from abroad today i have discussed intermediate goods tomorrow i will discuss uh, net factor income from abroad depreciation and net indirect tax okay thank you